get your mind to settle down and be content with being with the breath. Now, contentment doesn't mean you just sit there and don't do anything. It means that you limit yourself to this set of raw materials and see what you can do with it. Often it's when you, often it's when you place limits on what you're going to play with that you learn how to play in new ways. It's in this way that the Buddha said that contentment is a blessing. You take what you've got and you see what's the best thing you can do with it. And often what happens is you developed what you've got to the best of your ability. Then the things that come your way get better and better. In other words, you show that you take good care of what you've got, and that attracts more good things in your direction. So contentment doesn't mean just okay, whatever's there is okay and I'm not going to do anything about it. In some areas, yes. But especially in the inside areas, the mind. The Buddha actually said that discontent was this, the secret to his awakening, that combined with relentless effort. But what this means in practice is you've got to take what you've got. Some people say, I don't like my breath. Well, if you don't like your breath, what are you going to like? And the breath isn't just a given. It's influenced by the way you're thinking, by the way you're imagining things to yourself the things you tell yourself. So tell yourself some new things. There are these possibilities. Try to explore the possibilities. And John Lee made the comment that we have lots of potentials in our body, lots of potentials in our mind that we don't make use of. And it's a real shame. So here the breath is offering you all kinds of things. It's a place where you can settle down. It's a place where you can train the mind to be more sensitive to what's going on. So it's a basis for tranquility, a basis for insight. The Buddha himself was able to take the breath all the way to awakening. And his breath wasn't different from yours. What was different was the attitude that he brought to it. He grabbed hold of it and saw what could be done with it. And didn't really let it go until he could see how far it could take him. So there are a lot of potentials that are right here. And as you're with the breath, a lot of other things in the mind will come to the surface. This is a good place to see them. It's like a watering hole in a savanna. You want to make a documentary of the animals in the savanna. You don't have to go running around the whole savanna, just go to the water hole. And in the course of the day, every animal in the savanna will have to come there. In the same way, whatever is going on in your mind will have to come to the breath at some point or another. And as long as you content yourself with staying here, you get to see a lot. So regard this as a blessing, the fact that you have the opportunity to be with the breath. Even as we have chores as we go through the day, the breath is always there. Simple question of whether you pay attention to it or not. The more attention you give it, the more it will have to offer. So content yourself with being right here.